Marshall with Mesa RC Foam Fighters, I got Brandon here next to me, um, and he uh, decided to go ahead and try the FF-16 um, Fighting Falcon, yep. and uh, this is his prototype, this is not his final, but he's, his prototype's been through a lot of testing, and uh, Brandon, why don't you go ahead and, and uh, talk a little bit about this, and how'd it go? Alright, well, um, I built this F-16, uh, like, pretty much to s scale as much as, as most, much as you can, and, um, I, um, peeled off the paper on one side of the foam board to kind of make it more scale looking, so, uh, and then, um, yeah, because the duck is, yeah. that's, that's intense. So, right yeah, I peeled the paper off one side and then formed it. And then, um, based on your flights, how did it go? How was the first flight? How many flights did you put into this thing before you actually made the final? Probably about 15. 15. Um, first time we tried it, and to anyone who's going to build this plane, once the planes are out, make sure you have this stabilizer on straight, because I put it on crooked and it uh, totally rolled when we launched it and went right into the ground. So that's why the yeah. nose is all bent up. Yeah, his nose doesn't look like that in, in the plan, so he just kind of did the foam pot away, taped it back up and just chucked it again. So so you started off with, kind of like what Paul did, you started off with l right? Yeah. And then, then you, I put a rudder on. Then you put the rudder and then had the rudder work. Um. I wasn't really too pleased with it. It kind of just rolled the plane really slow and didn't give it much turn. No. So. And so where on the plane itself, in the settings you had, what was uh, what made it perfect? What was it, What was the right settings that made this plane fly perfect the way you wanted it? Um, well... Was it these and these together, or? Um, well, I did elevrons first, and then um, I did uh, four servos, actually. Two went back for the elevator, and then two for the ailerons. And that was enough pull to give you a decent roll? Yeah, that was enough. Okay. We uh, first, or actually, we only tried the Grayson Hobbies Park Jet on here, and it, it's pretty fast with that motor on. And it's actually a pretty heavy plane, so. Oh yeah, the uh, the movie that you guys are gonna see here in the, here in a minute. Yeah, we actually had just the regular standard twenty two six equivalent Supo um, motor in the back, and he he was falling in love with it. He designed the fuselage so that you know it is sometimes can be a heavy plane depending on how much you put on there. He designed it so that you can put a four cell um, in here as well, so that'll work that way. So let's go to your final, man. So he's got all his testing and, and designs made out of the way, and then here is your final. Dude, talk about it. Um, I um, decided to go with the Thunderbirds um, scheme on this. Uh, I spent a weekend doing everything on here. <laughs> and the um, uh, plans I had worked out great that we made, and uh, now uh, we're waiting for tomorrow to get it out there because it's been uh, really cold here. Yeah, so like Brandon said, we've got plans done, um, and he went and built the plane based on the plans, so it, it worked out great. Um, if you see, because the motor's not on the other one, but you can see the how he's got the motor set up and how it's mounted on there, the ESCs and in, in, um, out in the open so it can stay cool, and um, he's trim down some of the, the belly, the underneath fuselage of the air intake, and he's got that all figured out, and so we've got plans for this thing ready to go, and uh, we're going to do the final flight here in a couple days, and uh, in the meantime, enjoy his uh, prototype flying and getting that all figured out. All right, we're out here with the uh, student build FF-16. Brandon here has designed this plane all by himself on AutoCAD. And he's got it set up with uh, Elveron setup, is that correct? Yeah. And uh, it's a little bit gusty today, probably around 8 to 9 miles an hour. But hopefully we'll be able to test this plane out. All right, dude.
Nice job. Yeah, it is. Try to do a little flyby. Yeah, into the wind. <laughs> oh, he's gonna helicopter it. <laughs> nice job. Okay, successful flight today, Brandon. Pretty windy too, man. How did it all go? Uh, it went pretty good. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a couple of, maybe like two more test flights with this one just to get it dialed in. It flew pretty well at first. Uh, it's a little windy, but um, when we were going in or with the wind, it was it was flying pretty good. So I think we'll wait for a better day and see how it goes then. Cool. Thank you.